Hi everyone, welcome back to Pine Hollow Auto Diagnostics. Real quick one today, 2015 Chevy Cruze, 87,000 miles. Apparently the turbo blew up, they replaced that. In the process, this pigtail, they didn't plug it in, started the engine, and got wrapped up in the pulleys. They did some wiring repairs, they had a mass airflow sensor coat, P0102. So, um, I didn't even videotape this, this is uh, elementary stuff. Um, the, the power feed, 12 volt power feed, was missing. Blown fuse in the fuse box, fixed that, mass airflow is um, good to go. However, the car only feels like it's running on three cylinders. So I'm like, well, do you want me to keep going here? That only took what, 15 minutes. They're like, yeah, sure. Um, it's been like that for a while. Owners replaced, I mean, pretty much everything under the hood and plugs, coil, you name it. So what's going on with this thing? So on scan data, let's start this thing up. Seems to run smooth, but like I said, it, it just barely revs up. And on our misfire counts, it just it's setting a P0300 trouble code. And if you look at the misfire counters, we see cylinder number two is misfiring. All the other ones say zero. Okay, can we trust this? So definitely, we'll start with cylinder number two, but on a four cylinder engine with a single cylinder misfire, I would expect more shaking. This thing, it's pretty smooth, but it just feels like it might be running on two cylinders. What's the problem? Let's, uh, let's go outside and verify some actual data with the oscilloscope. All right, so first off, here's this ignition coil pack. It's kind of inconvenient because you can't just do a cylinder drop test with the ignition coil. However, we can do a cylinder drop test when plugging the direct injectors, which are very easy to get to. Actually, this is not a direct injected engine, so um, this is cylinder number one. No change at all. Cylinder number two, no change at all. Cylinder number three, yes, big change, okay. Cylinder number four, big change. So it seems like it's only running on three and four, not one and two. Now I have this uh, coil pad loosened up. Yeah. Let's see if they screwed all the way. So if you lift it up, you can hear sparks on these two. On one and two, there's no spark, no spark visible, and the engine you see runs exactly the same. So to verify, are we calling this Dorman Money Waster Ignition Coil? I have back probed the four control wires on the ignition coil. That's what's on the scope. And we can clearly see, if we reduce our time base, All the signals on all four cylinder control wires are there. No spark in one and two. Garbage. So I think my diagnostic fee is going to be more than if the owner just replaced this part with a quality part. It's brand new. It's shiny. It's new. You put in auto light plugs. Just complete garbage. Um, but that's it. But the point of the video is don't always 100% trust your scan data. Use it as a guide, but verify physically what's going on. The scan data just shows cylinder number two. So it says cylinder number one is fine. And the car is actually running pretty smoothly. That tells you that at least two cylinders are missing. Like right now, you wouldn't say that you're running on two cylinders. <laughs> it's actually pretty smooth, amazing. So that's it for this one. Quick and easy, but test, diagnose before the parts cannon, and if you're gonna do the parts cannon, don't use cheap aftermarket junk parts. See you guys next time, bye-bye.